because it has lasted for 50 years. There have been many generations that have passed through our church. There have been several pastors, including our own Pastor Barr, who's been here for over 20 years. That is amazing that he has been able to do that. And we celebrate him for the accomplishment that he's made as our pastor. But that reminds me of what we have to do as part of that legacy of God. First and foremost, we have to look to the leaders that came before us. Look to our pastors and the adults in our church and see what they are doing to follow God and the people that they learn from. You know what? Our children's church was here way before I was children's pastor. I've actually only been here for one year. It'll be two next January. So I've asked my friend Viper to do an interview with one of our former children's leaders. You might know her. And she's going to tell a little bit about her time and what it meant to her to be the children's leader here at our church. Here, let's go. Hi, Jen, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you, Viper? I'm good, I'm here. I'm here to tell you guys about Generation. Um, did you guys know my sister Stephanie used to be one of the children's leaders here? It's true. Did you like doing that? Oh, I loved it. Is it cool? What was your favorite part? Um, all of the different kids and watching them grow and learn about Jesus. And some of them I've had when they were four all the way up to when they were 12. Long time. That's crazy. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Um, do you have any stories that you remember that, that was your favorite? Um, well, we did have one um, Easter egg hunt, and we were outside and um, lost a couple of um, the prize eggs. And so we had to go on a mad scavenger hunt, all hands on deck, and we finally found them. It was pretty fun, and it made the prize even more exciting. Yes, finally. <laughs> So, you say you're looking for something that was lost? Mm-hmm. Hey, did you know that's part of what we've been called to do? I, I know, isn't that awesome? That's really cool, because um, we're learning about today, about generations, and how we've all been called to share God's love, and to find the lost. Yeah, Great Commission kids. Exactly. It says, uh, to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I learned that from some of my friends. Very smart friends. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you, Sister Stephanie, for telling us about that. And thank you for all you did to help children's ministry grow in our church so that we can have what we have today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Viper. Thank you. Can you hug me? Oh, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We really appreciate Sister Stephanie and what she did to raise up leaders in our church. There are adults now that follow God because she followed the direction of God and shared his love as a children's leader in our church. And we need to remember how important that is. We're all part of that legacy. We learn from those that came before us and we share love to those that come after us. In the same way as a child learns from their parents so that they can one day be parents. Proverbs 22, 6 says, train up a child in the way they should go, and when they are old, they will not depart from it. If we learn as children what it means to be a follower of God, and we focus on that straight and narrow path, focus on the direction that God has given us, no matter how many times the enemy tries to push us off course, tries to shift where we're supposed to go, we know the true direction of where we're supposed to go, and we will stay on that straight and narrow path. You know, kind of like we talked about last week. When we follow God's direction, when we are part of that legacy of God, teaching others what it means to be a follower of God, we become the next generation, the next people to spread the love of God. So we need to remember that those that came before us are just as important as those that come after us. So we need to learn from those that came before us so that we can raise up those that will come after us. Thank you guys so much for joining us this week. The word for this week is generations. So, if you come to me, because next Sunday will be a family service, so if you come to me any time before or after service, I will have some secret prizes with me that I will give to anybody who comes to me with the word. Now, I want to remind you, you have to help me down, you have to come find me. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining us, and we will see you next Sunday. Have a blessed day. Goodbye. Let's go!